Hello everyone, I'm Kat Oriel with Forbes Breaking News and today I'm here with Justin Tidwell, co-founder and CEO of Nowadays. Justin, thanks for joining me today at the 30 Under 30 Summit. Thanks for having me, excited to be here. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to talk to you. So can you just tell me a little bit about the company and why you decided to start your business? Yeah, absolutely. So Nowadays is the first ever cannabis infused spirit. So basically if you picture we took a bottle of vodka took the alcohol out and we put THC in so it gives consumers a buzz that they're looking for but without all the negative after effects that usually come along with alcohol. How did you decide to do this because it seems like this market is very new and uncharted territory so how did you think that there was a market for this? Yeah it's brand new so really the products didn't even exist close to two years ago and really for me it was a personal experience I'm 29 now I had my fun kind of drinking in college and doing all that and coming up on my 30s now, I said, I need something that gives me that like social relaxation, but lets me kind of wind down without all the negatives. And so it just came from me personally looking for something and a desire out there. I think that's just been a trend among people of all ages who can legally drink post COVID. Do you find that your consumer base is, you know, Gen Z or can also um, be a little bit older as well? Yeah, so it's pretty interesting when we started the brand, we were like, this is going to be very Gen Z up and coming. And what we learned was our customer base ranges from the 21 year old who's never drank and doesn't want to all the way to the 90 year old who wants to just calm down and can't drink anymore, whether it's due to disease or just that it doesn't affect them. Well, so it's really a wide range. And can you remind me, is your um, brand direct to consumer or are you in store? So we're primarily direct to consumer and then we have distribution through alcohol companies throughout the U.S. So we're currently in about 20 states. Um, and we roll out to liquor stores, restaurants, bars across the country. Yeah. I'm curious how different regulations in different states yeah. affects what you do. Yeah, that's a big piece. So from a regulatory standpoint, it's something we watch every single day. And it's something that because it's a new category, a lot of it, the rules don't exist. So we try to work alongside regulators to create the market and carve out a safe and effective category for these products that people want. Well, do you have any advice for anyone who is looking at something, realizes there's a gap in the market, and wants to take a step like you did? Absolutely. So for me, it was based on something personal that I found that I could use. And then, honestly, I started with very limited resources, a website, an Instagram, and a TikTok. And the beauty of social media these days is you're going to get really fast customer feedback. So I say start small, get customer feedback, and when you shoot that bullet and you see that it works, you shoot the cannonball after that. And you're a lister, right? Yes, this year? Am, oh, yeah. congratulations Thank on that. Much. Yeah, just what does it mean to be here? And are you excited? You're about to give a talk, get on stage. How are you feeling right now about that? It means a lot to me because, number one, making the list actually does make a difference in entrepreneurs' life. It helps them move things forward. And so if I can be here and help inspire other people and inspire entrepreneurship, especially in Ohio where they're doing so much, mm -hmm. it means a lot to me. So it's super exciting. Definitely very inspiring. And I can't wait to try your product. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.